about two and a half years ago, it was so ridiculous to think that people would actually believe the Russia, Russia hacked the election story. Remember that when Bernie Sanders was running against Hillary Clinton in the Democratic primary, the, the, the quote, election primary, which turns out to be not a primary at all, but a fake primary, where the Democrats picked a candidate. But you remember when, when they were when the Democrats were pretending that there was a, a, a real election and, and uh, the Democratic committee got caught cheating. Remember their emails leaked out and they got caught cheating and, and they ran for cover and they, they said, oh, the Russians did it. They gave their servers over to CrowdStrike and they paid these guys to, to fudge, the, fudge the shit rather than giving the information over to the FBI and the, and the, the real uh, enforcement uh, agencies, right? They claimed that, oh, no, no, we're a private organization. We'll give it to a private company. Remember they gave that shit over to, and how laughable it was and how ridiculous it was that the, that the, uh, that the publisher of the material, Julian Assange and WikiLeaks, told us that it had nothing to do with anybody else but no Russia. What Russia? Who Russia? I don't even know Russia, right? Russia? Fuck, what are you talking about, right? It was a joke. You remember how jokey it was, but that's how gaslighting works. Now, two years, two and a half years later, it's 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 widely believed by, well, it's it's one hundred percent accepted by all of House, all of Senate, the executive branch. Everybody parrots the same nonsense that twelve Russians hacked the election. Right? Am I wrong in saying that? Who who's not saying that? Who's saying the, the president of the United States says it's all a hoax? But he never has said, he's only said that, that there was no collusion, no obstruction, right? Let's move on. But what, how could you move on to the most important factor in uh, the Russiagate uh, scandal, right? Which is that GRU agents did not hack the Democratic National Committee and give that stuff over to WikiLeaks. That was an inside job. There's no evidence to suggest that Russia hacked it. So what does it have to do with Julian Assange, Assange's state of mind now? Because Julian Assange is perhaps one of the only people that can clear the record, can unmuddy the waters on what actually happened back in March, April, May of 2016 in the Democratic, in the bowels of the Democratic National Committee and in those little conference rooms between Hillary Clinton, John Podesta, Robbie Mook, and, and Obama, Loretta Lynch, all those emails, right? Julian Assange holds the key to that. So right now, Julian Assange is being chemically tortured. Now, I said it a few weeks ago, right? And was I wrong to say it? <laughs> Get out of here. I got a cord sticking up my... Was I wrong to say it? Was I wrong to say that, that there's some kind of shenanigans going on? Because Julian Assange uh, overnight has landed himself in the hospital, in the military, in the jail hospital. So let's have a look. So on Wednesday night, the company uh, WikiLeaks released a statement. Uh, WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange has been moved to the health ward of Belmarsh Prison. All right, so... So he's not he's not in an outside hospital. He's still in the prison. He's still under their fucking, you know, under their watch, right? Uh, you, well, look, when you're in jail, you, you you have they have total control of your mind, your body, your spirit, the food you eat, the air you breathe, the water you take a shower with, the water you drink, everything. Everything is 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 at the whim of the of the power, the power of the, the power structure. On Wednesday night, the company released a statement confirming the move, added, adding that they have great, quote, grave concerns over the health, uh, the state of his health. At the start of the month, Mr. Assange was jailed for 50 weeks for skipping bail in 2012. Mr. Assange's health had already significantly deteriorated after seven years in the Ecuadorian embassy. Right, I'm not buying that part of it. I'm not buying it, right? And I'll tell you why, right? So here's WikiLeaks's release. Um, WikiLeaks has grave concerns over the state of the health. So I'm just confirming that it's real, that WikiLeaks themselves is, is publishing that Julian Assange has been moved to a medical ward at the prison he's being held at. WikiLeaks has 
Grave concerns over the state of health of our publisher, Julian Assange, who has been moved to the health ward of Belmarsh Prison. Mr. Assange's health had already significantly blah, blah, blah. The United Nations twice found him to have been arbitrarily de- detained. All right. So there's there's nothing there's nothing here that talks about his state of mind, is it? Uh, yeah. So so here's where his defense attorney uh, Samuelson said Julian Assange's health uh, state last Friday when he visited him was such that quote that is that it was not possible to conduct a normal conversation with him. Uh, so there's the evidence that we were looking for, right? Is he being poisoned in jail? Is he being, you know, is he? Uh, I think so. Right? And I'm going to I'm going to show give you the evidence, right? So he's currently being held. So just some more headlines. Julian Assange misses his uh, United States extradition hearing. Oh, how convenient. Right? So he's not able to, the extradition hearing, the U.S. extradition hearing was supposed to be held today or, or in England, I guess, later. We're already behind them. They're, they're half a day ahead of us. So it would have been today. And he missed it because he was too ill to speak. How convenient. <laughs> Hours after he was moved to Belmarsh Prison Hospital Wing amid grave concerns for his health. So he missed, he did in fact miss his, um, his extradition hearing. It'll be postponed for, till June 12, right? So what else? So, so was he poisoned? Is he under, is he, is he being zapped with, with, uh, three, k- Q la 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 benzylate, right? Is he BZ? BZ? Interesting how it how it starts with a Q. Qun. Qun Kosana la 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 la. Q. Q. I see Q. I see Q. <laughs> it's Q. Q. Get off your ass and figure it out, you chump. So. Julian Assange is being tortured with psychotropic drugs. Drugs. Do you believe it? I, I do. That statement by his attorney that they, that he's disoriented, he doesn't know what he's saying, he doesn't know what he's doing, is very consistent with this BZ drug, or some other drug, some other derivative, some other facsimile of this of this drug. Right? Drugs are not hard to hard to manufacture these types of things, but. This particular one is an aerosol. So let, let's just look. So Pentagon uh, are interviewing, quote, interviewing Assange, says a uh, Karen Kwakowski, uh, a lieutenant colonel, a retired lieutenant colonel, posted this article. I already talked about this in another in another uh, video, and, but it's just it didn't make sense then, but now it makes sense, right? He rece- he's receiving the same treatment as suspected terrorists while in captivity at his, at Her Majesty's prison service at Belmarsh. Uh, so the FBI, Pentagon, CIA are interviewing Assange, says uh, Kwakowski, right? Interviewing is the wrong word. I'd like to say doctoring him because it would be more accurate, except that, except that word implies some care for a positive outcome. Chemical Gina, uh, he ref- she's referring to the uh, secretary of something or other, one of Trump's people, Gina something, uh, has her hands in this one. And, and we are being told that, uh, that Assange is being, quote, treated with BZ, qu- 3 quanxilolin benzylate. Right. And what the hell is that? What the hell is BZ? BZ is a powerful drug that produces hallucinations. Soldiers on BC could remember only fragments of the experience afterwards. As the drug wore off and this and the subjects had trouble discerning what was real, many experienced anxiety, aggression, even terror. The drug's effect lasted for days. At its peak, volunteers were totally cut off from their own minds, jolting from one fragment fragmented existence to the next. They saw visions, Lilliponian baseball players competing on a tabletop diamond, animals or people or objects that materialized and vanished. 
Right? Hallucinations, right? That's what it does, right? Here's more. I have some, some medical site, <laughs> Science, Science Direct, says uh, that it's a chemical agent. It's, it's, a, it's warfare, right? It's, it's warfare right up there with atropine. Chemical warfare is a central acting synthetic blah, blah, blah. BZ uh, is used as a hallucinogenic and, and incapacitating to incapacitate the, this target. Uh, it is about 25 times more potent than atropine. It's released, BZ is disseminated as an aerosol with primary roots of absorption through the respiratory system. Again, you could, they could stick it in the, you know, in the shower while you're taking a shower, a nice hot shower, you think you're breathing in the steam, and ah, BZ, and you start hallucinating. Right? He, he probably doesn't even know. Or they can probably, it, it'd be, I'm sure there's a more sophisticated way of just integrating it into the food. But th this is highly suspect. Again, not proven, just working theory at this point. So the, the signs, are uh, CNS signs of disorientation, disorientation, agitation, tremor, ataxia, stupor, coma, seizures may occur from in inhibition of central blah, 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 receptors. It is known. It is unknown if animals hallucinate like people. <laughs> well, that's besides the point. Um, sinus tachycardia. Right? This is all moderate hypertension, tach tachpenia, right? vomiting, nausea. Right? These are these are all questions for the uh, the fine people, the editor of WikiLeaks that we know saw Assange, um, the 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 girl. What's her name? Uh, Pamela Anderson who was able to get in there and have a visit with Assange. If you, sat to, if you sat down with Assange over the last month, did you observe any of these? Any of these? Uh, again, okay, so, so, so stress. You're being locked in a little room. You could run it off as stress. But this is highly suspect at this point. And the people that came in direct contact with him earlier this month should, should give us some information. Or anybody who has been in contact with him lately, does it, have does does his symptoms resemble those of BZ? That's what we want to find out. So again, Julian Assange. I read off the the uh, the the list of things that Julian Assange has done for us. Why he's so important? Why he needs to be, you know, uh, uh, saved and rescued? The collateral murder videos. I, I get, did this video yesterday. Guantanamo Bay, the Camp Delta standard operating procedures. He revealed the Scientology Bible. Remember that? The, the uh, videos about Tibetan descendants, uh, toxic dumping in Africa, Russia spying on its own citizens, right? On and on and on. The Iraq war logs, um, the Billaberg group meetings, right? He gave us the reports. Barclay tax evasion, Afghan war diaries, right? Thousands of the uh, the U.S. State Department cables. Uh, it showed Hillary Clinton spying on French and, and British and Russian Chinese delegates. Uh, the uh, Stratford emails. The TPP gave us a glimpse of the TPP. When Congress couldn't do it, he showed us how corporations were ready to rip us off. And then Trump t at least took that and threw it in the garbage. Right? The NC emails, right, which is the, the essence of, of, uh, of the real attack in my view and this reporter's view is that he can Julian Assange holds the answer holds the key to the fact that 12 Russians did not hack shit and that that was a inside leak and likely the murder of the leaker uh, that's what Julian Assange uh, holds right and why is it you, you say to yourself why is it because Fox is going off the rails too saying that Ju Julian Assange is not a publisher they're doubling down on Trump's talking points, Trump's Justice Department talking points. Uh, Trump has totally thrown Assange under the bus. That's that's a given. Trump is a, you know, is a is is not not who you think he is. Is not. Turns out that he's just a he's just a talking head. He's a traitor in many respects to the people. Uh, he's not trading. He's not he's not a traitor to the establishment. He's cozy now with the establishment. He's a traitor to the people. And for that, there is no consequence other than, you know, unpopularity. Uh, so, so what else? He gave us the, uh, 
the Vault 7 stuff. So this is a shocking video. I mean, I, I can't believe this. This is Fox News. Uh, this jerk off Mark Tyson, whatever. Fox News. Fox Opinion News. Right? WikiLeaks is not journalism. They're running on it. They're running Fox News is now, is now because now they're opposing the New York Times and Washington Post for whatever reason. You could call it controlled opposition. They're playing both sides of the coin. Because when you see the, the Washington Post, you have to say, oh, that's CIA. So now CIA is saying that Assange's uh, um, actions are not journalism, are, are in fact journalism, and should be protected by the First Amendment. Right? That's, what, um, that's what this guy was talking about right here. So, so uh, Greenwald. Uh, just just give you a background on 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 um what what the real argument is in my view and certainly um Glenn Greenwald right, from the uh intercept if assange can be declared guilty of espionage, espionage for working with sources to obtain and publish information deemed quote class, classified by the US government then there's nothing to stop the, the criminalization of every other media outlet that routinely does the same. Greenwald wrote in the Washington Post op-ed Tuesday, highlighting what he considers, quote, the greatest threat to press freedom in the Trump era, if not the last several decades. I agree with that assessment, assessment totally, right? So, so that is the issue, right? If you make journalism, if you make working with a publisher... Right, if you're a leaker and you make it, if you make working with a publisher illegal for the publisher, then you have no First Amendment. You you basically have a completely controlled, uh, you know, state uh, a state-run media where it's it's not it's not news anymore. It's propaganda. You know, evidence is not allowed to be seen. Right, and we look always. Just listen to this Fox guy. This is I mean, it's just insane. I can't believe it. Come on, speak. Let me just refresh this for you. Do, 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 do. Might have to watch a commercial. Might have to watch a commercial. He's always been your little tough guy. Fifth grade, so, uh, that smelly... Well, that commercial's playing. So, so, and also I want to talk about this. Obama just bagged a $600,000 payday for single speech in Colombia. Can you imagine that shit? While this is, all this is going on, this scumbag right here just took $600,000 for a speaking engagement. Shit is crazy. Uh, where's the fucking audio here? Come on, give me the audio. Terrible, terrible. The media are having a coll- uh, Says that the right to publish uncomfortable. Matt Murray, editor-in-chief of the Wall Street Journal, uh, says that the right to publish uncomfortable, important information the government would prefer to keep secret, is central to a truly free press, all those statements given to the Daily Beast. Listen to this. But here's the thing. It's kind of a slippery slope argument because the just... Listen to his slippery slope. It's just staggering. The Justice Department argues in this indictment, the head of the National Security Division says, Julian Assange is no journalist. Uh, what's that? Okay, so that, that comment right there is very, very important. The Justice Department. Now, that's that's your guy, right? That's Mr. Barr and... Oh, the, 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 they're going to clean, they're draining the swamp. That's Pompeo. That's, that's, that's Trump. That's Pence. That's Bolton. That's, that's Mnuchin, right? That's the swamp saying it. They're saying that, that Julian Assange is no journalist. The head of the National Security Division says Julian Assange is no journalist. Uh, what's at issue here is the leaks from 2010 by the WikiLeaks founder. Uh, of just an enormous trove of uh, military secrets, diplomatic secrets, secret cables, all of which he uh, was completely reckless about. This is why I don't believe he deserves the protections of a journalist. Uh, reckless about... Now he's a journalist and he doesn't deserve the, the protections of a journalist. But why is it reckless to release the truth? Why is the truth... Because what, what Fox does is not true, right? It's just, it's propaganda. It's, it's manipulation, right? So why is, why is uh, we have to pick and choose what facts and what details of the truth? No, there's just the truth. There's propaganda and then there's the truth. And that's what Julian Assange publishes, the truth. 
Here it is for your eyes. I don't, I don't need some talking head to tell me what I'm reading, right? I want to read it. I want to see it and make up my own mind. But no, the filter of, of the, the fake news, Fox is just, I, it's, I mean, I thought they would take the side of it. You know why? Because it's politics. Because Trump put, he, he, he stared him down. When, when, remember when Bernie Sanders went on, on, uh, on Fox and he looked like a, a rock star when he started talking about health care? And, and Trump, Trump downgraded Fox in his head, right? He said, oh, Fox, look. Look how cozy they are with Bernie. Crazy Bernie. Remember when, he, when that happened right now? It's like, see, because it's politics. That's really what it is. See, so Fox, to get that Trump money going into the next, to keep Trump cozy, stay cozy with Trump, to get that Trump money, right, for the next campaign, they got to take, take his side, right? right? Trump is leading the charge. Don't kid yourself. Don't fool yourself. Uh, whether lives were endangered, whether the secret identities of agents working for our government or working with our government might be jeopardized, uh, whether or not, uh, you know, the, the way in which uh, he didn't um, deal at all with the most sensitive military secrets, just dump it all out there. You know, one of the- That's right. You dump it all out there, you idiot. The interesting things here is that uh, major newspapers, I remember in, in that 2010 round, there was The Guardian and Le Monde, have worked with Assange, have worked with WikiLeaks to disseminate this stuff out there. When a responsible news organization, and we do this all the time. Responsible news organization. So WikiLeaks is not responsible for, for revealing the, the war crimes of Americans in Iraq and, uh, and Afghanistan and, uh, and, and saving the lives of probably, you know, I don't know, a couple hundred thousand people in Iraq and, uh, and Afghanistan. All right, that's not that's not a noble feat. What the hell kind of creature is this guy? Gets classified information, sensitive military or diplomatic information. You have a conversation with the administration, and sometimes you can be persuaded, sometimes not, uh, to hold back certain things, certain details. So you bargain. In other words, you're saying you bargain. Once you get that stolen information, you bargain with the with the people that are compromised, and maybe they'll give you a favor. They'll say, "Oh, you know, don't give us that." And uh, don't don't talk about that, and we'll give you something better down the road, right? You you start the, the negotiation game. You get cozy, right? For for position, for power, for access, right? You want to keep their access to the CIA. Oh, you 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 know you you found out some dirt dirt on us. All right, so so lighten up on that, and you know it's that's not the truth. That's bullshit. Uh, that might jeopardize ongoing military operations, for example, or the safety of State Department or CIA people abroad. Julian Assange. The safety of CIA and FBI people abroad, right? The safety of them. Meanwhile, they're, they're out there killing and breaking the law in our name, right? Why should, why should they have said, get out of there? Military operations, for example, or the safety of State Department or CIA people abroad. Julian Assange doesn't care about that. He doesn't care about America. He's Julian Assange doesn't care about America. I mean, the, the, this, is, this is staggering, right? Does he care about America? He cares about humanity, right? Someone who reveals the truth. America, when you say America, first of all, you're not talking about Americans. You're talking about a very, very corrupt establishment, an established, an established corrupt establishment. We're not talking about Americans, right? He's just a destructive force. Uh, so I'm not saying that he should be treated differently because I don't agree with him or I don't like him. Certainly his role in helping Russia undermine the uh, 2016 campaign with all the leaked DNC uh, and Hillary Clinton emails. There, he doubles down on the lie. See how the lie is, is being now used? The lie that the Russians, he worked with the Russians to, to, to give that, you know, to, 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 you know, undermined Hillary Clinton. And of course, we hate Hillary Clinton, but still, we, we hate the Russians more. You see how this, this, this is gaslighting, right? This is, does this guy believe that? <laughs> does he really believe it? I don't know. I mean, he's, he's, obviously, he's obviously on script. Now, does he, if he believes it is another thing, but he certainly wouldn't be working for Fox, I believe, if he didn't believe it, right? So... They hire him because he believes it. Hillary Clinton, uh, you know, John Podesta and all of that was also very destructive to our country, whether you wanted the DNC and Hillary and the Democrats to win or not. Um, but when somebody is so reckless 
and encourages um, the leaking of classified information. I mean, here's the thing. If I'm a reporter and somebody uh, calls me up and says, hey, I've got all this stuff, it's classified, I've got to meet you in a parking garage, Traditionally, I'm not the one who's criminally liable, but the government employee or contractor, um, Chelsea. Traditionally, they're not liable. No, absolutely not rely. Uh, uh, not liable. The publisher, Manning, for example, who who does that kind of leaking is subject to criminal prosecution. But in the case of Assange, you know, he encouraged, he orchestrated. There's even a hacking charge against him. He encouraged, he orchestrated, there's even a hacking charge, right? It's just, it's just total bullshit. It's total In bullshit. In terms of uh, his dealings with Manning. So I think there's a slippery slope argument here. If the Trump administration, and by the way, the Obama administration also considered these charges. And also, um, in, in... Yeah, they considered, Obama considered it and realized that it was a violation of the First Amendment. So he's muddying the waters. He's muddying the waters to pacify Trump and get that Trump money, in my view. You know, um, listed a couple of journalists, including my former colleague James Rosen, as, you know. All right, so that's all I wanted to say about it. And just, and just you know, where is Obama right now? Again, $600,000 for one speech. He, um, for that, for that, keep track, that's $100,000 more than Bill Clinton made for a single speech in Moscow during a 2010 trip where he hung out with Vladimir Putin at his house. All right, so hope Mr. Hope and Change, Mr. Hope and Change, while the, while the, while the, while the country is burning in, in, in deception and, and <laughs> this guy's out there making fucking all that money, right, doing that shit. Right, so Marcus Conti reporting on the, the state of Julian Assange. I know I rambled. I went off on a little bit of a tangent there, but... It's important to see the whole picture, right? Who Julian Assange is, what the motivation would be to to take him out and why, and now evidence on the table that he may, in fact, be, uh, be being drugged out at Belmarsh Prison in, um, in London by CIA, FBI, and the Pentagon. His behavior, his behavior is evidence that there is some shenanigans going on, and um you know that's it. It's a it's a lobotomy, right? It's try to try to throw him off his game so that when he finally gets in front of a judge or something, they look. He's a, he's a babbling idiot. The guy doesn't. He can't even defend himself. Uh, so that's what it is, you know. So we'll keep watching this stuff, you know. Marcus Conti reporting. Kindly become a uh, Patreon or uh, make a one-time contribution to PayPal. This is how I keep it going, you know. One day you're gonna click on here and I'm gonna be gone and I'm gonna be, you know. I'm going to be a street sweeper or something because I can't, you know, I can't survive. <laughs> Guys, people are fucking cheap, right? Cheap, 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 fucking nobody wants to get anything. A lot of you, a lot of you have, I'm, I take that back. A lot of people have become Patreons. It's very important. So, uh, and also subscribe and uh, Marcus Conte reporting.